taking off my mask today reminds me of the day Abao taught me and my siblings so seriously how to safely remove your mask and wear it. And those little things will forever cherish. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by thanking everybody on behalf of the family who have come here and to those two who are here with my family in spirit. As my father, he would occasionally lecture us and impart life lessons. He would ask us to be patient, to seek wisdom, and to have faith in God. These three goals were the most recurrent of all. What seemed as repetitive advice is of immense value then and even now, not because he was keen on us instilling those values, but because he himself practiced them. He was a wise man who was patient when faced with setbacks because he resented all his worries in God. Till his last breath yesterday, we believed he was healed. And as he slipped away, we as a family found assurance that he is at peace because of the mighty faith he had. He did not say much, but he said enough. His advices weren't too many, but they were the most important. Growing up, I realized something very peculiar about about working, working something most people dreaded, he surprisingly enjoyed. Getting up in the morning to go to school at 6 a.m., we would see him joyfully running on the treadmill, only to give us a shout to open our half-opened eyes and get ready for school, and chant, don't let laziness ruin your life. Something that will be etched in us forever. As we left for school at around 8 a.m., he would too leave for office. Coming back from school and then tuition, we would wait eagerly for our bow at the door, only to salute him and stump our foot on the ground and yell at the top of our smile. One lesson we learned as of yesterday is to enjoy the little things as much as the big things. The dual role of working a job and being a loving, caring, and kind father, son, and husband simultaneously is something near impossible. But Abba made it seem like a cakewalk. Having such a vigorous work schedule, family always came first, and thus this love for family permeated into his workplace. For the past three months, we were lucky enough to have been together to spend quality family time, celebrating Christmas, New Year, his birthday, Ayao's birthday, Ayao and Abao's anniversary, and then Abao's birthday together. I recall him jubilantly yet solemnly telling us on New Year's how we, with the help of God, how he, with the help of God, proved the doctors wrong, and that we must be thankful to God for such times. Abao has been and will continue to be a perfect role model for each and every one of us for Ayao, for Azawao, and Azao, for my siblings and me, leaving a small yet indelible mark on everyone he crossed paths with. We couldn't have been more proud to have him as our father. He was the go-to man for all our problems, no matter how big or small. I'm sure he'll be smiling, looking at us from above, seeing family members, close friends, and well-wishers. Thank you for Thank you all for giving an incredible, an incredible man a befitting and grand farewell. I am blessed to have had the strongest father, blessed to have the strongest mother, blessed to have the strongest brother, blessed to have the strongest sisters, blessed to have the strongest grandparents anyone could have asked for. Until we meet again above, we will do as you constantly said to us, Keep the faith and keep the main thing the main thing. Good night, sir.